Welcome to my review of the VK1 vlogging kit from Godox. I've had this now for a while but only got a chance to review it recently. If you shoot content on your phone, which many of us do, then this very affordable little piece of kit might be exactly what you need. So in front of me here are all the individual components that come with the VK1 vlogging kit, apart from, shall we say, my phone, which is there. So starting out, you have this rather durable plastic outer casing. And this is what holds everything. Well made, well put together, nice little clamp in the middle there. Nothing wrong with that. And it's got plenty of eighth inch screw holes there. The next thing you have is your handle, which you can screw in on the bottom here. Now this is like a mini tripod. So you can put that at whatever angle you want. There's nothing major to it, but you don't want something too heavy. It's all about keeping it light. Now the microphone is very like the old Rode Video Micro microphone which was a very affordable little on-camera mic that came out a few years ago it's got that same shape and it's got this muffler as well so now we can just literally clip in our mic we'll put a dead center godox kindly gave me a little lightning to mini jack adapter here lastly there's a light here and the light can go on the top maybe if i was using the light i'd put the microphone over here but i think today we can safely say that we don't need a light now i did find the light to be quite bright it's 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 adequate you know indoors it is of assistance and it's very lightweight there's good power out of it and it lasts a while as well i'm not sure exactly how long it lasts but it does last a while plus it has various effects there and color temperature so it's a good little all-rounder this so it's handy to have now essentially that is your VK1 vlogging kit. We're getting a little bit of rattle there, which is from the cable swinging around. I'm sure that could be fixed. Yeah, there we go. So now it's time to try out the VK1 vlogging kit. One thing I will say that I noticed about using this is the fact that you've got your phone set up in a, shall we say a housing or a carriage for the want of a better word like this, with the handle attached, with the microphone attached, it makes you feel like you're doing something more formal than just using your phone. And therefore, it might sort of make you put a little bit more oomph into your video. So that's something I've only noticed since connecting up my phone. So yeah, I think that's another plus side to the vlogging kit. This is the front facing camera. I really like this woodland. It's one of my favorite places to come and walk. I love coming here in the mornings. Bit of a plane situation going on. That could make for a nice photograph. So now I'm testing out the microphones on A, the iPhone, with the vlogging kit microphone, and B, I'm checking out the uh, audio on the okay let me pause for a second sadly i wasn't actually using the microphone that came with the vlogging kit here unknown to me i was recording with the inbuilt mic in the iphone let me explain now when it comes to connecting up your microphone to your iphone you can use this cable attached here but be very careful and ensure that you use the side that's black not the gray one because the side that's black has a TRS mini jack and the gray one has a TRRS, meaning that there's an extra point of connection on this side, which is very important for connecting that to your phone because if you connect it with the black side to your phone and the gray side into the actual mic, the phone will actually just use its own onboard microphone and bypass the mic, so be careful. I made that mistake and I had to ditch a lot of the footage. Now let's see what the audio sounds like from the microphone that comes with the VK1 vlogging kit. I think it sounds pretty good. Now if you wanted to, you could connect up a microphone like this, which is the MK200 from Sennheiser. Now this is a powered microphone. It has a battery inside. So I'm wondering how that's going to work out on the phone. Let's try it. So therefore, if you have other microphones and you want to just up the audio quality a little bit, you could actually just use a different mic on the vlogging kit. Speaking of which, so here I've connected up the Rode Wireless Go 2 to the actual phone via the vlogging kit. It's connected up very conveniently there. Now, if you were doing live streams where you wanted to create a bit of distance over and back between you and the phone, this would be very, very handy because it wouldn't affect the audio. You would just be picking the audio up from yourself. So if you wanted really good audio from your phone, you could try a, a, a lav mic. 
Again, make sure that you use the correct connection. Don't do what I did. Make sure that you use the gray side going into the phone. Taking a little walk through the forest floor here. And this is where the garlic is all beginning to spring up. So I'm just filming it with the vlogging kit. And if I want to flip it around and just face myself, that's fine. But what if I want to turn the microphone around and get audio from this way? Say if I was filming somebody, what I have to do is actually disconnect it and uh, tighten it up again. So now the mic is this way. It would be a lot easier if they just put it on a little swivel and let you just turn it any direction you want. One very small issue I'd have with the vlogging kit is, it's a loud blackbird. The phone sort of defaults to the bottom. You know, when you're mounting it, the clamp just goes up and down. So the phone is always gonna sit at the bottom. So if you want to adjust uh, the volume keys on your phone, or if you needed to access the volume keys for any other purpose, like taking a screenshot or something, uh, it's very tricky because the gap there is quite small. So the VK1 is a nice bit of kit. I've been vlogging around with it here. I think it works quite well, but realistically speaking, if you are on the move like this, and if you're out and about vlogging, really all you're doing is using the microphone. So a tiny device that just connects to the phone and just holds a microphone is kind of all you need. Uh, if you're doing live streams, if you're doing indoor stuff where you want, want to attach a light, if you're in a darker environment, and if you're gonna be putting the camera up and down or your phone up and down, on a table or whatever, I think then the uh, actual uh, vlogging kit here is a good device to have. It's definitely gonna protect your phone if you drop it and it comes in at a good price. So I think really it's a no brainer, you can't go wrong. Now, if you like this video today, this review, do check out my other videos and if you haven't subscribed already, please feel free to do so. So that's it from me and the VK1 vlogging kit guys. Until the next video, I'll see you. take care.